A change in your sense of smell can be unpleasant and affect how things taste. Thankfully, it's not usually serious and often gets better within a few weeks or months. In this episode, we'll talk about the causes and a few top tips to manage them. The main cause is a coronavirus, a cold or flu, a sinus infection, an allergy like hay fever or growths in our nose, usually called nasal polyps. There are a few rarer causes too, such as stroke, head injury or medication side effects that can cause it. And smell also decreases with age, with about one in three people over the age of 75 affected. Loss of sense of smell is caused by affecting the function of the nerves involved in sensing smell, either by directly injuring them in the case of viruses or causing swelling in the case of things like sinus infections and allergies. When it comes to smell, these diseases can also cause us to just have a reduced sense of smell rather than a complete loss or even smell things that aren't actually there such as smoky or burning smells and for the smell of certain things to change. Our sense of smell is one of our most underrated senses. It has a really powerful influence on our memories and feelings. People who can't smell report a strong sense of loss with big impacts on their lives. With the above causes, apart from aging, once the infection or allergy or growth is treated, for the vast majority of people, things should go back to normal within a few weeks. Sometimes this may stretch to a few months. Some of these causes have very specific treatments, such as steroid sprays for a sinus infection, allergy or polyps, but some causes such as viral infections don't have any specific treatment other than your body's immune system to fight the infection. Having said that, one thing that is worth trying regardless of the cause is trying to clean the inside of your nose. Now I don't mean blowing your nose, I mean flushing it out like you would do with a blocked pipe. You can do this using a salt water solution that you can make yourself with a teaspoon of salt and baking soda mixed into a pint of cooled boiled water and then sniffing it into your nostrils a few times. It can really help. If you're keen to try this but this method isn't for you, you can buy salt water sachets at the pharmacist or buy a device that helps you to rinse your nose. These are brilliant and you can buy them over the counter without a prescription. If you're looking for a recommendation, my patients would recommend the Neil Med Rinse products. Many of them swear by it as it really helps with breathing and that clean nose feeling. You can find more information on these products in the description below. If symptoms don't improve after a few weeks, then you can push things along by training your nose. Yep, you heard me right. Smell training is an actual thing and it's doctor approved. It works by smelling the same strong four scents every day, usually for a couple of minutes total, to help regenerate some of the smell sensors in your nose. It needs to be done for the long haul, but it can work and it doesn't have to cost a thing. You can use smells that you have lying around at home, such as essential oils like lemon, rose, clove and eucalyptus. There's some more information below if it's something you'd like to try. Losing your sense of smell can cause a lot of worry, but it rarely relates to a very serious disease. As a rule of thumb, if your sense of smell doesn't improve after a few weeks, then you should get checked out by your GP. This is useful as depending on the cause, the treatments range from giving it more time to treating the inflammation with a spray or a referral for further investigation if the cause remains unclear or if some of the treatments we mentioned already just haven't worked. And by the way, if you've had COVID, then a diminished sense of smell can persist for up to 12 months. This is long COVID. Just to state the obvious too, smell is one of our five key senses. If it's impaired, we may be at risk from other things, so we need to have some checks and balances in place. For example, you may not be able to smell things like gas and bad food, so it's important to test your smoke alarm regularly and check the end-by dates on food packages. Thanks for listening. Till next time, stay healthy.